I, today we will have a look at this. It is a 4 euro eBay grab bag of MiG-27 avionics scrap from a seller in Great Britain. Actually the seller who sold me previously the red top infrared seeker. So it was super cheap and we have two very nice looking units here. So I had to take it and I will be looking for further grab bags because it was written in the description grab bag number one. So maybe there will be more. By the way, why, scrap why scrapping uh, MIG avionics instead of uh, selling the complete uh, thing, except if it is for demilitarization purpose? Not sure. So we will start with the random little things. We have here this uh, little module, quite heavy, with this model number, little schematic here. And the cover is damaged, so this one I believe I will open it in a video. I am really curious to see what there is inside, but it's sealed, it seems completely sealed as you can see. We have uh, terminals here with glass pass through. We have two screws on the cover, but they were uh, actually the slots were filled with epoxy. And it looks like this cover is either glued or welded all around with something very hard. I did probe it a little bit. It is not solder. It is uh, much more hard, so must be epoxy. I did try to hammer it with a screwdriver here, expecting to see a crack appear. But no luck. It looks like I will need to dremel it all around. Or maybe do a cut here and then I will be able to pry it off. And it looks like there is actually a recess behind this uh, label. So it will be featured in the next video. Quite heavy, so I expect to have uh, nice things inside. Uh, next uh, random parts. So these things, I have already a lot of them, but they are always good to get. Some uh, both the same model, some uh, synchro uh, receiver and trans or transmitter, most probably, given the number of uh, wires. It may be possible to find some data sheet with uh, this number. And uh, actually, super good ball bearings in them. So they are keepers. Next, a little bit of uh, real scrap here. Something was taken apart and it is the remains. We have an uh, aluminium base with uh, some uh, actuator was, uh, or sensor was installed in here probably, it seems, moving this part. It was a sealed unit because we have uh, remains of uh, seal all around. And we have three coaxial wire wound resistors, which are loose, by the way. So not sure what was uh, keeping them in place in the device. But uh, it is interesting. So given the condition, I will... Uh, this I will do later, it is just a cover, but I will undo this part and we should be able to pull the free coaxial wire wound resistors. I will uh, keep them except if they are damaged. <coughs> so we have this uh, wiper assembly. Okay, we have actually uh, is a rotary connections here, so this will turn and it will, uh, we have a free spring uh, kind of contacts that will follow the movement. I can cut them because I am not planning on keeping this uh, thing anyway. 
then we have ah, yes the three ah they are loose because they were uh, taken apart we had uh, screws in here probably attaching them to the base plate and actually here are some of the screws um, so it is good I always need screws um, that nice so we have three uh, similar assemblies that are completely coaxial with very nice uh, wire wound potentiometer here I have seen according to some Russian uh, micro scrappers this uh, wire wound wire contains uh, rare materials maybe palladium or something like this you can see we have three uh, wires as this is a potentiometer uh, actually we have a tap here in the middle an interesting middle structure in aluminium the two other ones are the same thing but for some reason they are quite hard to separate uh, here we have one extra uh, assembly on this one so just a resistor here precision resistor to compensate the thing probably yes it is in parallel with uh, this so it is to compensate or modify the characteristics of some sections of the uh, potentiometer quite interesting and the last one same thing we have also the same kind of uh, added potentiometer on it so this was interesting I will keep them probably here uh, not sure what to do with this it might end in the scrap metal after I undo this uh, assembly here yes you can see the rotary uh, contact wires quite interesting in a spring uh, clock spring fashion so I will need to take this apart if possible ok but the main interest in the wall grab bag as you can guess are the two ah, paperweight units so some kind of electromechanical assemblies for uh, something in the uh, MiG-27 aircraft I had I did clean here some uh, wires, you did uh, cut the wires, they were just little uh, bits of wire loose, so I did cut them to have something clean. No connectors here, just uh, hard uh, soldered wi wiring with a little bit of damage. So we have here obviously a base containing uh, gears. I did not open it because I do not know what will happen. I do not want to separate the two things on the two uh, parts because maybe we have uh, ball bearings. But it might be very complicated to put back together. But we have uh, six uh, multi turn precision resistors, potentiometers here with this very nice logo. And we have one more of these assemblies, not exactly the same. You can see. So it is driving them on the potentiometer, uh, figure something out. Interesting. Uh, so you can see we have. Uh, uh, actually, it will be on the other one. Just here, the uh, model on serial number. Not sure if the 90 stands for 1919, 1990. Uh, seems uh, older designs than this. But the other one has also a 90 serial number. So the other one, much more EV. Same kind of terminals I did uh, clean of the loose wires. Here we have 
just two potential meter assemblies, but one big motor or synchro something here. Synchro, as we have uh, five wires, it seems. Two smaller ones, which are, uh, by the way, this one is uh, quite a bit loose. So I will see if I can uh, secure it a little bit. Uh, right now, actually. No, this plate is loose. And we have one of uh, this kind of assemblies and two of the potentiometers. So about these potentiometers, there is a big coil or spring shaped thing around the case here and there is a moving uh, wiper that will uh, follow it all the way along. It might be possible to see them in a uh, on some Russian websites taken apart and also in uh, YouTube videos. If I find them, I will link them in the video description. And uh, yes, what is interesting about this thing, so same kind of handwritten serial number here, with 90 as a start of a number, access panel at the bottom, probably giving access to some gears. But one interesting detail, we have handwritten information here, we have handwritten information here. Uh, on this one, actually, I cannot see a lot of it, uh, stamp or something like this. Here we have stamped or um, silk, silk screen printed information with probably hand added serial number. Here you can see the numbers, they are different. But the two last assemblies have what seem to be laser engraved numbers. Really unusual to see it on a Russian or Soviet equipment. Except, except I have one Russian pacemaker which has laser engraved information. Same on the other one. Okay, so these things, I will keep them as display items or paperweights, I have two of them. The little motors will go in my uh, collection of uh, little uh, motors and synchros. And the box here will be opened in a future video. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.